whoever you are. Sure, there are many of you. Get up out of your seat. This very moment, if you felt like giving up, the Lord said, go one more round. Get up and come walk down here. I'm supposed to get your attention this morning and impregnate you with a word called desire in your spirit. You've got to leave here asking Him, desiring it, talking about it, stirring it up, thinking about it, laying in the bed at night, desiring, desiring, desiring. It's on your mind all the time. Desire. You've let desire die. And when you let it die, your prayers won't be answered. But I tell you that what your flesh can't produce, if you've got a promise, God says, I'm able to make it happen for you. Believe me. Everybody stand up on your feet all over this building. Let's raise up our hands, and I want us to worship God all over this building. But I need you to lift those hands up, and I need you to open your mouth. Remember, this one thing have I desired, and that will I seek after. Desire finds a way. Lack of desire finds an excuse. Do you desire? Put it before Him right now. Put it before Him right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank You that You have spoken to Your people today. And I just speak to their desire. I just speak to the part of them, Lord Jesus, that is believing You for something great. I believe with them now. Lord, I ask You to stir up desire in their hearts. I ask You today to awaken desire, to let them get a fresh grip on desire this morning, that God, they would they would hunger for it. They would thirst for it. They would pray for it. They would think about it. They would meditate on it. They would call on you about it. They would desire it like never before. Whatsoever things you desire. Some of you, I, I, look, I look at some of these people who say, I'm called to preach. You listen to me if you're called to preach. If you say God's called you into the ministry and you're just kind of floating through, You're never going to do anything significant. Never. Never. If you are going to be used by God, He has to find unusual desire in you. Now listen to me. Do you believe that God can take this Word and make it grow inside of you? Did you get something out of this today? I hope you did. Bow your heads all over this building. Somebody's in this room this morning and the Lord brought you here to be born again, to be saved, to be set free from the chains that have held you back. And the Lord wants me to ask you, do you want to be healed? Then get up. I'm going to pray for you in a moment. I want you to raise your hand when I ask you. I'm going to pray for you and Jesus is going to forgive you cleanse you, deliver you and put desire in you to live for Him like you've never had. If that's you and you you would say, I need that in my life. I need that kind of change in my life. Raise your hand up just as high as you can get it. I'm going to pray for you right now. Hands all over the building. I want to be saved. I want to be forgiven. I want to be born again. Hands up all over the building. Raise it up high. Raise it up high. See those hands. See those hands. I see those hands. I see those hands up in the balcony. I see those hands. All right, pray this prayer with me. Father, in Jesus' name, I'm ready for the change. I'm ready to be born again. I desire a change in my life. And I invite you, Lord Jesus, to be my Savior this morning. Forgive me. Cleanse me in your blood. I am a new creation. And I'm going to leave this place with a desire to serve you. In Jesus' name, I am forgiven. I'm going to heaven. In Jesus' name, shout amen, somebody.